Hello guys, welcome back to my Sly Cooper and the Phoebus Raccoon this let's play. In the last episode we collected all the last remaining keys in Raleigh's hideout, and now we have all the keys in the air, which means we can take out Raleigh and kick his ass. Let's go. Delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I HATE UNEXPECTED GUESTS! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado... Let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. She really just ate a bug and became a much bigger version of herself. He actually looks like a greedy water balloon, doesn't he? He looks like he's filled, looks like he's filled up with huge tons of water. And that's why the next one hit him. He looks like he's filled himself up with tons of water. He looks like a green water balloon, don't you think? You could just pick him up and throw him, and he would splat. That's what he looks. That's what he reminds me of when he's this big. Can you find the time to hit him? But get in the water. I need to find next time the perfect time to hit him. When's that going to be? You just wait for him to shrink. I don't know why thinking getting this big would, would be beneficial for hit killing Sly, although if he was smaller, I don't think that would benefit him either, so. Safe say this frog has picked the wrong fight. She needs to time this carefully. This is obviously the trickiest part of the fight. Honestly, this isn't really a difficult boss battle. It's actually quite an easy one. Probably the easiest in the game, to be honest. But I would say this part here is a trickier segment. Now the tricky bit's out of the way. Oh god, Ooh. This is probably the easiest boss battle in the whole game, if I'm being 100% honest. Yeah, probably the easiest boss battle in the game compared to all the other bosses in the game. Yeah, probably definitely the easiest, and he's taken out already. Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Tide of Terror is complete. We will keep Raleigh's to go to Mesa City. And now we're going to go to Mesa City in Utah. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> the neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. 
With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He become a hard-boiled, street brawling, tough as nails gangster, ensuring that he never be picked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper in Sunset. Snake Eyes. Iraqi style. Yeah, this looks like you two, alright. Between the 40 glue bottles in this era and a new. Ooh, let's get all the coins around there though. I'm definitely gonna need a few coins because I'm definitely need a horseshoe at the moment. Okay, if we head down. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, Liebeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So, jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. So, when we beat Raleigh, we got a new move, which was the spiral jump, which I can now use to land on little pinpoint areas. Let's dive down here and take this guy out. Let's get all the clue bottles down here too. I didn't want to miss this pie out, because I knew there'll be some clue bottles down here. So that is seven clue bottles, and it's got some coins here. I'm going to need some few more coins to get myself a horseshoe, explore Utah. Utah is surprisingly quiet. Well, obviously Mugshot must have got rid of all the people living around here. Must have scared them all off. Hey, what the? How did he take me out? I was right behind him. What the fuck? Okay then. I've still got all my clue bottles though, I think. Dive. Yeah, I've still got all my clue bottles I got. Yeah, let's go take that dog out again. That dog will get us cut to him. It's just, he's just down there, so there's no point really cutting ahead to him. I'm back. I'm gonna wait patiently and yeah, wait till we, there we go. Now's the time to take him out. Okay, which should I go? So if we go this way first, and we'll get all the clue bottles around here. Yeah, I think we'll go this way first. Yeah, if not, we'll head back and get the clue bottles we might have missed. So that's twelve clue bottles. We need a few more. I think that's all the clue bottles collected around here. Good job I came this way instead of that way. I need a horseshoe though, because as we get further through the game, the game is going to get tougher with enemies, and I didn't even hook on. Oh, I'm still alive though, I think. No, I'm not. I pressed circle bar to even grab onto that tire. What the hell? Okay, we're back here where I somehow didn't grab onto this tire. I pressed the circle bar and it just didn't register. I don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, I'm over here now, there's no point really moaning about it. Ooh, all these coins, I'm definitely going to need a horseshoe if I'm. If I'm gonna get really clumsy as we get further through the game, which is honestly, which is probably like me. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Yeah, the latest laser technology. If we head up here and get this ball. I'll do the same thing I did with that life back at Raleigh's place. So I've got 17 clue bottles. I hope I've got every single clue bottle so far. I don't, thi I don't think I've missed one. No, I don't think I have. Okay, that's the, that's the laser gun. Oh god, not this guy, I remember this. There we go. Whew. I'm still alive. I need, I need 100 coins though so I can get myself an extra horseshoe. That's what I really need right now. I still don't get why horseshoes are slides like hell things. Crash Bandicoot, you would have like Aku Aku and Spyro, you would have like Sparks to dress Spark or Sparky the Dragonfly helping you out. But it's some reason Sly Cooper has horseshoes. In the future Sly game, Sly doesn't have this, but I don't understand why Sly would have horseshoes like as his health. 
pick up the engineer. There's nothing game breaking to be honest. I know it doesn't really make sense, but yeah. I'm not really gonna bother, I'm not really gonna complain. Oh, there's a horseshoe though. Perhaps I don't need 100 coins after all. Okay, the view, let's get all the coins right here. Maybe I can get an extra life though, if I get all the coins around. Get 100 coins. Right, five, I need five more coins. Ooh, they just avoided him. Okay, got another horseshoe. Okay, fair enough. Guess I'll be doing that. So I got thirty clue bottles. Have I missed one. Oh yeah, I knew I missed a clue bottle somewhere. Up there. See if I can grab one. I'm on. Nice. That's gonna fall, isn't it? No, it's not. I thought for a second that was actually gonna fall, but it didn't. Yeah, I knew I was missing some clue bottles somewhere. I knew it. Thirty-four. Uh, more of these latest technology lasers. Ooh. Whoa! -hoo -hoo. Oh, I, tr I triggered it. Damn it! I'm not dead though. I'm still alive though. I'm really not a stealthy person when it comes to video games. <laughs> All you have to do is watch my last episode three of Far Cry Three Let's Play. Is when I, yeah, got. Busted a few times while I was trying to do this ship. Mission, where's the uh, vault? So I'm gonna head back and find the last clue bottle. I've missed a clue bottle, haven't I? Yeah, I think I have. Well, I'm gonna go find this clue bottle. Ah, there's the last clue bottle down here. Night, really well hidden, I guess. I saw a clue bottles found. Now to find the vault. I know where the vault is. When I was coming back, I found the vault. I know where to get where it is. Let's go get the vault. We head up here and the vault is just here. Let's see one number I have to type in. Press the circle to enter the vault code. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. 314. What do I get? Uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap, then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. A mine hat. Well, I never really use this in a place like it. I never use this power up to be honest, but yeah, it's here if I need it. Okay, let's go ahead, let's go get that key. Let's go to head to Mugshot's place. A casino area. Mugshot has like a casino area around here and that's where all the main levels are going to be. So if we head over there and go get the key and let's go put Mugshot out of his misery. What the fuck's going on with the camera? I don't know what happened with the camera then. Well I literally thought I glitched or something and I thought for a second the camera was not going to move but luckily it did. Okay here's my key. Can I detonate it? <laughs> let's find out. That's it, let's go ahead, let's go ahead to Muckshot's place. Okay, here and we are. This is Muckshot's place. Let's head down there and let's go find him. We have a few more levels in this area. Well, this Muckshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place! Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Oh, this guard. Okay, let's go take this guard out quick before he turns around. And here we are. Mugshot's hiding. It looks like we need three more keys in this area. 
I'm just going to talk over my shot. I don't hear this voice. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like on the video. That means so much to me. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit subscribe. That means so much to me. That boosts my comments so much to make more videos for you guys. And I have loads of games planned for the channel. And next episode, we're going to complete three more levels in this area and use this car to get to the next area. Somehow. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to be excellent, man.